Hi there. Ooh, more streaming today. Yeah. And so we're going to wait for the stream to catch up just to confirm that everything is working all right. There we go. All right, very good. In that case, we are going to get started. Hello, hi, and welcome to Civilization V with the Community Balance Patch with me, the Zero. Ah, all right. Well, we're starting a new series of sort here. So here's what I'm 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 gonna do. I'm gonna play a random leader. So I don't know what I'm gonna be playing. I'm gonna need to adapt what happens to that on the shuffle map, so we won't know the map whatsoever. And uh, the map's going to be small. Difficulty level's going to be Emperor, which is slightly harder than what I'm used to playing on. So hopefully I don't get horribly, horribly destroyed, but that might also be fun in a learning experience. And I'm going to play on the standard pace. And that's going to be it, really. The, there's the community balance patch is enabled, uh, installed and everything, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I really co recommend the community balance patch. Uh, I've played so many hours of Civilization V. I, it's one... It's probably my second most played game of all time. And I've played a ton of it. And I think the community balance patch has really, really hit the nail on so many things. It's making it more interesting, more balanced, more diverse. And I think that's a really good thing. And I really recommend it if you if you do own Civ Five and you haven't played in a while, or even if you still play, I recommend checking out uh, the Community Balance Patch. Uh, yeah, and if you've never played Civ Five and you're watching this, um, that doesn't make much of a difference for you. But if you have, you're going to see a lot of little differences, and uh, that's really interesting. So anyway, let's start and uh, generate a world and see what we got. Um, Attila! Your men stand proudly to greet you, <laughs> great Attila. Grand warrior All right. of the Nordic Empire. You can listen to that. Together with your brother Blader, you expanded the boundaries of your empire, becoming the most powerful and frightening force of the 5th century. You bowed the Eastern Roman emperors to your will and took kingdom after kingdom along the Danube and Nisava rivers. As the sovereign ruler of the Huns, you marched your army across Europe into Gaul, planning to extend your already impressive lands all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. Your untimely death led to the quick disintegration and downfall of your empire, but your name and deeds have created an everlasting legacy for your people. Fearsome General, your people call for the recreation of a new Hunnic Empire one which will make the exploits and histories of the former seem like the faded dreamings of a dying sun. Oh, okay. Will you answer their call to regain your rightful prominence and glory? Will you mount your steadfast steed and lead your armies to victory? Will you build a civilization that stands the test of time? Wow, a key guy reading that sounded really angry. All right, Attila, a very militaristic nation. So let's see what our bonuses are because it's the community balance patch. I don't know what they are. Mounted melee units deal more flanking damage and can capture units and defeated barbarians in encampments join you. When you gain a grassland tile naturally, unowned adjacent grasslands are also claimed. Woo! Okay, so... Mounted melee units, really good for us. Um, grassland expansion, really good. We also get a battering ram, which is a very early unit that replaces the catapult. And very good versus city. So we can have some early war versus some, uh, some city-states or if there's a nearby civ. And that might be a good thing to rush, rush towards. And eki. Culture, production, and food can be built on grassland or plains. And a key can only be built on flat grassland or plain style without access to fresh water. Provides production, culture, and food as well as additional production if adjacent to two other eki. Remove any features on the tile. Can be built in or adjacent, adjacent to Hunnic territory. Okay, so grassland and plains, really good. And... Uh, all right, well, let's begin. 
So, one of the most, if not the most important decision you make in Civ 5 is where you're going to build your starting city. That is an absolutely vital decision. And we want to see a little bit more. Alright, we didn't see a little bit more. Okay. So, we have a couple of choices. We can build the city where it is now, and the advantage of that is that we start our civilization right away. We have access to some gem and some tobacco. We're next to a river and next to a mountain, and that's good. But right here, we have a hill. Is that hill considered next to the water? Plain, hill, river. So building on a hill gives you bonus production and gives you defensive bonuses. Next to a mountain lets you build wonders and uh, certain improvements, and next to a river also lets you build certain uh, improvements. So building on a hill next to a river next to a mountain is like the trifecta of starting position. So we're going to take the one turn to do that. And there we go. So this is where we're going to build our first city. Um, I would like, or if you would like, to name these cities after you guys. So if you want a city named after you, you can leave a comment or send me a message and I will name a city after you. That's a pretty good deal. Alright, let's build our uh, settler right here. There we go. More gems and we still get the tobacco because it's within three tiles. Awesome. Awesome starting location. Now we're gonna move our warrior up here and continue scouting. Um, now another question is what are we gonna build next? A scout is usually a really good thing to start the game with because they move faster through difficult terrain and um, and they let you uh, discover more land and uh, they can let you discover goody huts which are really important. Monuments, there's something to be said for a monument or a shrine um, or just another warrior. If we're gonna go for a militaristic path, and this is the other question. At this point in the game we need to sort of pick what kind of game we want to play. Do we want to go science? Do we want to go cultural? Do we want to go diplomatic? Or do we want to go uh, militaristic? These are the four ways to win in this game. And we are with a nation that's very strong militaristically, at least until the modern age, in which case it doesn't get any more advantages. Um, and that might be what we aim for, but that might be our fallback. We might decide to go for a more of a cultural victory with a fallback on a, on a militaristic victory. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna start with a scout, because I, I think scouts are really important early on. Um, but I still don't know. We're going to need more information about where we are and what this map is like before we can decide what we want to do. Let's pick a technology. Uh, it'd be really good to know if we're going to have horses available at all. Since horses are going to be such a, a powerful part of our military, if we don't get horses, we might, we might want to just give up on the whole military thing. So I think we're going to start with animal husbandry. All right. Right. Keep exploring. Oh, are we on a tiny, tiny island? Oh, we might be on a tiny, tiny island. Okay, that would make the scout not as useful. But we don't know. It, it might link through a very convoluted way this other land. We're gonna keep exploring here. The first few turns of Civ go by so fast. And then the last returns take forever. Okay, well, at least there's a good spot for another city around here. Ah, crap. Okay, we're on a tiny, tiny island. This is a nice little ancient ruin, and um, we're gonna not we're got we're not gonna take it with our Hunnic warrior because there's a chance that it might upgrade our scout to an archer. So we're going to we're going to do it with the scout because the the warrior just gets upgraded to a spearman which eh, it's not as good. So this changes things. 
monument is not that important because we're not going to be competing for land. Although there's something to be said about it's uh, the bonus culture. I think we're going to go for an early shrine to try and get a religion started sooner rather than later. So we're going to go for the shrine next and then either a worker or a monument. All right. At this court now house two people. Uh, those jungles are pretty good. Two food, one hammer. But that's about it. So we'll want to hopefully 12 turns until we expand and 12 turns until we we grow. Oh no, wait. 8 turns until we grow. No, 8 turns until we build. How long until we grow? 11 turns. Eh. That's not too bad. Okay, uh, warrior. You can go stay in Atlas Court. And that's about it, really. We're going to need to... Uh, research the naval technologies a lot, a lot earlier. There we go. Than we otherwise would on a game where we'd be on a continent. There we go, see? Now, this is a very special thing you can do with, with explorer, uh, scout units like that, is that if you get a, uh, a goody hut like that that upgrades it to uh, an archer, they keep their um, boat reconnaissance bonus of gaining uh, XP from revealing tile and they ignore turn cost so this is a very mobile archer and it's a very powerful unit early in the game so I'm, I'm quite glad I made that decision uh, I'd much rather have that rather than a spearman so now we're gonna try to see as much of the water around our lands as possible uh, you can stay in the city warrior there's nothing much we can do with you so animal husband okay. when he treadeth out the corn um, did we find sheep right under our city? Yeah, there's sheep right under our city. That's not very good. Um, if we'd built there, we would have been able to work the sheep, which is always better than building on top of sheep. But we, we couldn't know that, so... Eh, we're on the hill. So, another good spot for a city could be right here, or right here on another hill. One, two, three. That would be in range. One, two, three, one, two, three. If we build our city there, there would be no overlap between our two cities. But that city would have a lot of water tile. One, two, three. It would get that jade, though. I think it's... At, oops. Didn't want to do that. Um, so we're going to aim for a city right there. But we're not in a hurry to build a city there. Because no one's going to contest that. So we're in a much bigger hurry to find out about fishing. Which is going to allow us to embark and explore so first for before we can find fishing we need to discover trapping so we're gonna we're gonna work on that and um, and then we're gonna embark our units and we're gonna explore the land around what whatever whatever what other islands we can find because there's not a lot of land on this island okay you can stay in the city so we're gonna have a shrine in just a couple more turns there we go. Shrine is very good. And would an early worker be useful? What could we do with an early worker? All we could really do is build a farm here for plus one food. And because we can't clear out this jungle yet, we don't have the technology for that. So I think I'm going to skip the early worker and instead build an, a monument for faster growth and more culture. All right. Faster border growth, by the way. And there's a nice looking island down there. I'm a bit... Uh, it's a bit bad that we don't have any um, horses on our island. But hopefully we can find horses on this island or one nearby. Um, otherwise, we might have to really abandon the idea of a milita militaristic victory. Hello, Jack Notch, again. How are you doing? Um... And uh, abandon our militaristic, you know, sort of uh, ideas. And uh, did I update this? Well, if I didn't update it, I updated it now. Sorry about that, just little <laughs> Twitch things. Not sure if I do my updates. But anyway, um, so, so yeah, so if we don't have horses, military is going to be a lot harder. But we also have those Eki we can build, so we might want to go for a cultural victory of sorts. Right now, uh, 
I know, right? No horses. Oh, look at that border growth. That is some crazy border growth for it. Oh, that's a cool power. Wow. So our cities are going to grow super fast. Uh, I should have gotten a worker after all. Whew. But uh, we're hoping to fight horses around. Hopefully. Uh, we, we don't we don't know yet. Uh, that was such a that's such a fast growth on land. That's a cool power. That can be really useful. Even brute beasts. Right, trapping. So we have some deer. That's also pretty good to have. Wow, I'm. Whoo. Um, this is, Jack. Now this is the community balance patch. So everything has been rebalanced. So Attila has been rebalanced to have this power, which is amazing. It's surprising me too, but I'm not going to complain. Um, so in three turns, we're going to get our monument, and after the monument, we'll probably we'll probably move on to get a a worker, because now we know that our land is just going to grow super fast. And we are the least wealthy in the world. It's normal. We're playing on a hard difficulty. The AI is going to have a huge advantage over us at the beginning of the game. Uh, it's balanced because everyone else gets something really powerful. Uh, so if you're wondering, like, how could that be balanced that Attila gets this? Yeah, everybody else gets, like, another special thing that's really powerful. So this is Attila's powerful thing. And then we'll meet someone who can... I think it's the the Sweden can heal every single one of their unit instantly if they get a great general. It can get pretty crazy. Um... All right, we can adopt the policy. So, progress. I like progress. Tradition, we don't have a lot of s potential cities, so tradition might be good. Authority, though. Hmm. And these have all been rebalanced as well. And they're... they're normally, tradition is like a no-brainer. You always take tradition. But in this case, more workers or faster expansion... And more military units, martial law. Hmm. I think we're going to go for authority. We are Thilla, we want something militaristic. So warlike and expansionist, that's going to be us. Let's have authority. And we have discovered barbarians! Goddamn barbarians already. Ah. Progress? Progress is really good as well. Um, it just give it just piles a bonus on you. But if you want to be militaristic, authority is pretty good. All right, we're gonna get a worker, and we're gonna keep researching more f the fishing technology. That's gonna let let our people explore these nearby islands. This is a shuffle map, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna run into. Uh, it, Maybe everyone's on little islands. Maybe there's a bunch of bigger islands. Maybe there's also some continents. Um, F FTL went quite well, Jack Notch. Um, we we didn't die, so that's that's the first time that I made it an hour without dying. Uh, so we 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 didn't die, and uh, so tomorrow we're gonna be continuing from a previous game. And my ship is getting really good, so I'm I'm hoping that. Uh, I'm hoping that I can at least make it to Sector 8. But, you know, cross my fingers. Oh, crap. Hand axes already. Hand axes are really nasty. Alright, barbarian problems. Okay. And again, I'm kind of uh, running through these few early turns really quickly because there's not much to do in early turns. Um, we have three people and they're working the the good tiles, so there's nothing for me to really do much of. All right, let's get some upgrades. Move our guys in. We want to kill this barbarian encampment before it spawns something too nasty. The NG Stealth Cruiser looks badass. Uh, is that a, a ship that I have, or is that a ship that I fought in FTL? I'm not. I'm not sure. Uh, that's definitely not a ship you can get in uh, civilization, that's for sure. <laughs> you can get some pretty badass things. Fortified units, or just flanking. 
I like the just the flat out combat strength bonus more than uh, more than just the uh, fighting fortified units. Plus, we got a unit that's going to be super good versus cities, so we don't need a bonus versus cities. Um. Yeah, I, that that's why I prefer I, I prefer accuracy because it's always plus ten percent. There we go. We got a bunch of culture from this, and we can uh, straight up pick our next uh, our next thing. So we could uh, we could go the, the path towards Imperium and get a free settler, or we could have faster border expansion and everything. Mm. We're not too hurting for a free settler right now because we don't know what's around us. So let's go for the border expansion. Bonus production and food. That's super useful at the beginning especially. Um, but yeah, no, the mod changes everything. The community balance patch is like, one of the best thing about the community balance patch is that you now have your happiness in your cities is based on what they produce. So a city has needs. It needs like... Uh, some cash, it needs some protection, it needs some literacy, and it needs some culture. And later on, there's like, uh, it, it has religious tensions. So you need to build buildings to keep your cities happy. But happiness has been completely reworked. Uh, it's really good. I love the community balance patch. It's, to me, it's like, it's, uh, it's, I don't know, it's so much better. A barbarian encampment joins us. Oh, that's our power! All right, well, we got a brute from clearing out that barbarian encampment. Oh, that's really nice. Um, do we want the extra worker. He Holy crap. Who commands the sea right, fishing. Has command of everything. We receive an additional trade route. Okay. Uh, someone has already built Stonehenge. That was fast. And a pantheon has been founded. It's Dance of the Aurora. Okay. And Attila has grown its borders. All right, think things are moving. We need to get these troops back into our territory to get them healed up and give them uh, the promotion that lets them go into the water to embark and go scout out the nearby lands. Uh, the red mod. I I've played with the 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 red mod, but I don't have it right now. Um, yeah, I've, I've played with the red mod, and I've played also the red World War II mod, which I find really interesting, and it changed a lot of the mechanics as well. But the problem with that is that I can't... Um, I can never finish a match, because it always crashes before the end, so... Okay, um... Worker can go improve these sheep. For now. What are we going to build in Attila's Court? We can't really build anything. Uh, workboat? We don't know. Oh yeah, there are wait, there are some fish, but not in our borders right now. Um, next are worker, a workboat, a warrior, a scout. I think another archer. If we're gonna go militaristic, let's just build a bunch of military units. We have nothing else better to build right now, and we should remedy that by uh, researching something that would let us build something good. Um, caravan, granary. Yeah, we're going to research pottery, get access to settlers, caravans, and the granary. So settler and granary is what I really like, what I really need from pottery right now. Um, yeah, the red mod, I know, it makes the unit more varied and more interesting. But I'm not sure if it's compatible with uh, the community balance patch, because the community balance patch also changes a lot of the units. So, I'm, so I didn't want to try running both mods at the same time in case they conflicted. Tillis Court has grown. We're growing quite well. Two food and one hammer on heavy tile. And two of our tiles have also a piece of gold. So that's pretty good. Brute is on full health. Archer is on our territory. A Archer can now embark. Uh, we're going to heal the Archer first, though. We don't want to send them out in the, in the wild without healing him first. Should take five turns. That, that's worth it, in my opinion. Or keep repatriating our troops to our territory. We could do farming and just grow a telescope, but I'll get another archer. I think two archers and two uh, melee units are a very strong military start. And that will let us intimidate city-states, uh, other civilization if we see them. So that's why I'm choosing to do this.
Okay, unit needs order. Yep, eight turns to a pasture for a lot more food. That tile's gonna become really good. Okay, unit needs orders. You can now embark, so we're gonna send you straight into the water right away. And start to see what's around us. Now, embarked military unit don't have a very good vision range. Uh, they're not like... There we go, see we found an island already. And we have a little archer here that we can send out to explore. And right now we're gonna do farming, I think. And just grow our city. 20% of food of production becomes food. I think that's a good thing. <laughs> um, the last game of Civ I played, I played uh, for myself, I didn't stream it, but I played as India and I went for just nuke and Gandhi nuked the entire world and it was awesome. So uh, maybe we'll, we'll do something similar, probably not though, we'll just conquer the whole world with our horsemen. Maybe we'll like conquer the world by the medieval era, that would be really awesome. Okay, you can heal up. And we're starting to have, like, with, with four units exploring, I feel quite good that we'll find some interesting locations very early on. There we go. And some probably good uh, settling location as well. Um, there we go. Some more ruins. Always a nice find. And more ruins here. More population! Great. And one turn until pottery. Ah, that, that that's good. That feels really good. Um, you can go back in the water and keep exploring for us. Alright. Shall the clay say to him that fashioneth it? Have you what done an AI-only battle series but spawned a bunch of giant dead robots and tried to conquer the world in the middle of it? That sounds awesome. No, I have not done that. That is that like a custom-made map? If it's a custom-made map, I should uh, I should I should download it and try that. Yeah. All right, we got pottery. That is really nice. But Attila's court is growing really fast. And the problem with growing really fast, as you can see, our people are getting really unhappy because we don't have enough money. Uh, the crime is rampant. There's everyone's illiterate, and uh, they're really bored because there's so many people in our city. So it would be good of us to stop growing for a little while and build a settler. So that's nine turn of no growth, where at least we're not going to get that problem. And we can research some buildings that can make our people a little bit happier. Uh, military theory would give us our special unit and a barracks, which would help with our need for defense. Um, the wheel Stone Age has already been built, which is insanely, insanely fast. Mining is going to be important because there's a lot of forest to chop down around us. Uh, but I think military theory right now is going to be the best for us in ten turns. Um, yeah, we could garrison a unit, but that's just one unhappiness, and we're still happy. So I don't mind too much. I'd rather explore for now then have the plus one happiness to like have a golden age in 150 turns instead of 300 that's still so far away what we got here advanced technology wisdom and virtue the wheel the two wheels of a thank you ancient ruins and we're going to discover our first little city states over here in a moment all right very good Alright, little archer units can keep exploring the water. Ah, nothing down there. Up here... Hello, Hong Kong! Where are you? We're the first great empire we that met them, so they provided us with a bunch of money. Thank you, Hong Kong. They are a mercantile city-state. They're neutral. Um, they have glass and copper. Very good. We're going to try not to piss off Hong Kong. Now we're gonna try to be their friends, or maybe we want to conquer them. We're getting military tier. We're gonna get battering rams. Maybe we want to conquer Hong Kong. Hmm. 
I mean, before we meet all the other city-states and they get angry at us for conquering... Yeah, that, that may be a, a good thing to do. Uh, but in the meantime, we're gonna just keep exploring. Ah, we can have a Pantheon! That is very good news. What's up here? Just the piece of land here continued. Alright. Um, still no horses anywhere. That's not really good, huh? But, um... Let's see what we got. Ancestor worship, child of nature. Do we have anything for pastures? Earth mother, fate healers, fertility rites, god of commerce, god of craftsmen. God of the open sky. Plus one culture for every three featureless plains tiles near a city. And plus two fate from pastures. That could be really good. God of the sea. Plus two food in coastal cities. God of the sea could also be good since it looks like to be a archipelago map. God king is always good. God as a festival. I think we're going to go for the pastures. Like there's tons of pastures around to have. And there's more pastures everywhere that we can see. So we're going to go for... Um, no, not not the hunt. The open sky. We are Attila. It makes sense. We want horses. Um, found atheism. We might find atheism, I guess, as as the the godless Huns. Uh, but for now, we're gonna we're gonna worship the open sky. That's 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 just a nice thing to to have. All right, units needs order. Um, how about you move in here and then in here? We're gonna see what's south over there. And you also need orders. You can keep exploring what's around us. There we go. We now have access to sheep. And that's going to make the granary... Does the granary upgrade the sheep? Let me double check. Granary does not upgrade the sheep. Okay. So it doesn't make the granary more important. And the only thing we can do with our worker right now is build a farm here. Alright, we have another... Um, Maybe maybe we could keep you in the... Does, does that make our people a bit more happy? It doesn't. It, it doesn't really. Our people are no longer bored because we're getting... One culture from our religion. That's good. But yeah, it's pointless to put a garrison in the city. It doesn't make them any happier. So we're gonna send this, uh, this warrior to uh, explore as well. Alright, more warriors. There's nothing here. Go back in the water. Uh, FDL will be continued tomorrow, uh, Jack Notch. Um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one a day, basically, is what I'm aiming for. So, um, so uh, I'm gonna also try to to keep doing Civ every day, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to do uh, all of them every day. But I'm aiming to do one a day. Um, all right. Ooh, King Solomon's Mine. That is very nice. We want to build a city here and get that wonder. Six, six, uh, three culture and six hammers. And there's a barbarian encampment here, but it might be a bit hard to fight. We might need to bring all of our military units around here. Yeah, look at the damage we're taking. Um, oh crap. Ooh, we might lose this archer. Okay, we're going to try to run away with this archer. We're going to bring the rest of our military here and uh, try to take these guys down. Alright, um... I need you over here. We need you over here. Because that's a prime location for a city, right here. That is such a good city. And horses! We found horses! Alright, yeah. This is where our city is going next. So we need to really concentrate everything we can on this place liberated from these filthy barbarians <laughs> yeah <laughs> king king Bar uh, king solomon's workers have uh, taken arm and rebelled and they're they're all around here ouch i'm kind of glad that uh, this archer uh, we could give him cover it would help him fight these guys but uh, i just love accuracy so much yeah. Um, oh my god. At least this is a former scout that got upgraded by a goodie hut. So he can run away through these hills. Whew. 
Um, okay. Let's take this island and let's settle this, uh, let's make this our first settlement. Because that's looking like everything we want in a city. Holy shit, they're going through the water! Wow, okay. Um, hey, Attila's court demands salt. Okay, we don't have any salt. Why can I not... Oh, I, it's already selected. It's like, why can I not select you? Um, we want to go in this tile. That tile. Uh, we probably want to... We can move one more back and shoot. And this boat is going to be nasty for our... Oh, this is a nasty engagement. Okay, let's shoot at you. Let's land here. You're going to take a beating from these hand axes. Yeah, those... those. This is a tough... Uh, this is going to be a tough fight this early in the game. Oh, no! Archers! Oh, oh no. Archers, run away! <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, can this thing kill me in one hit? It might be able to just kill me outright. Please don't kill my archers. I need them to fight you. Oh my god! That was painful. Retreat! Um. Oh my god. This is so painful. Oh my god! No, we're gonna lose shit over here. Uh, fortify until healed. I don't think that's gonna be enough. Oh crap. This is a really tough cookie. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, and the AI, like, is a lot smarter about killing you. Alright, we might lose the, the, the brute, but we got this brute for free, and that would save our archer. I think it's worth sacrificing the brute. Oh, that won't even save our archer. Alright. Heal up. We need you to heal up. We need... Oh my god. Okay. Um. Yeah, we need to run away from this place. Uh, we built a settler, so we're going to start working on a granary. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to build a city here right now. So we're going to sell this... Send this settler up... Uh, up here. One, two, three. Or down here. No, I think up here would be the best. Oh, then nobody would ever get this cattle. Hmm. But that's alright. Alright. Whew! This is a, a tough fight, and we're gonna we're gonna lose this brute. And we might lose this archer. Hopefully not. Whoa, we lost both! That's really bad. <laughs> okay, that's really bad. Yeah, we need to build up some forces. This this island needs to be... In fact, we're going to stop building this granary. And we're going to build some archers and some warriors instead. That's some pretty bad losses this early in the game. <laughs> um, ouch. The haft of the arrow had been feathered with one of the eagle's own plumes. Okay. Yep, over there. More research. Um, trade with lessons, build our ekis. Petra, market. Market gives us more money and makes people happier that way. A herbalist, there's a lot of forest and jungle around us, and a herbalist might be really good. Reveals banana. Or we can just go for mining. I think we need to go for mining and get that bronze working. Uh, we could use a barrack, and we can build one now. And uh, we might want to build a barracks first to get those promotion bonuses. But we're going to go fight some uh, barbarians, so, product, uh, so those bonuses are not as good. We could also just buy something. If we just buy a warrior, and then build an archer... We're going to be a bit faster in taking down that island. That island of doom! Alright, we can heal this archer, and we can wait here with this warrior. 
I don't like losing units this early in the game, but it couldn't really be helped. I guess it could have. I could have saved that archer if I ran away. I probably should have. But I thought it could survive and then kill the other guy. Barbarians are no laughing matter uh, at this uh, difficulty settings. There we go. We're gonna get our first expansion city over here. Look, look, look good. Uh, we could probably also build a city there eventually. Although it's not that, but well, it's gonna get jade and cattle. But it's not a prime location like like this one here. Um. <laughs> And we need to train those men. What do we want to build here? A shrine for more religion would let us build a religion faster. A monument for more culture? Or granary? More military units? I think the shrine for the religion. A religion can be really powerful in this game. Alright, let's keep healing. Also, barbarian units heal in this patch, so all the work we've done was basically for nothing. Yay. That ship is really annoying me. Die, galley! Damn it! Go away! Um. Okay, mining is coming, but right now, this worker cannot do anything. So. Alright, worker. You're a bit useless. <laughs> Okay, we need to kill this galley. It's gonna run away. Okay! The barbarians are straight up invading. Can you land here? Yep. Let's go away from this galley. They're exporting their barbarians! Holy crap! That is a really nasty barbarian camp. Keep healing. We're gonna get our new archer next turn. Then we can work on the barracks, and then we could build a battering ram, because I'm thinking Hong Kong. It would be nice to take Hong Kong. Alright, heal up. You heal up. We have a new archer. We wanna bring it over. And let's just keep waiting for good things to happen. Yeah, and they might have a worker that we can steal. That's, a, oh, that's always a good pickup. Oh, hi! Barbarian, how about we kill you? And I want to shoot at that so bad. Um, and you can't do anything. I should have killed him with that guy. Um, oh, we can build roads. All right, early roads then. It's gonna make us lose a lot of money though. Hmm. Yeah, the loss of money might not be worth it right away to build roads. Uh, I disabled combat animation because I think they take way too long. Um, it's just like, it's always the same animation and it takes like, I want to see what happens in the battle. Um, I also have a mod that makes aircraft go around faster, so instead of like going like and taking forever, they, they do it a lot faster. You can build a well. We revealed stone and we can build mines. Do we have any stone around? Oh, there's some stone in this island. And on this island. Oh, that's really good for uh, Hiroshima. Oh yeah, I forgot that the Huns get their city named after other civilizations. Uh, Alright. <laughs> that's, that's kind of funny. Okay, what do we want to shoot? We could kill the boat or the archer. Let's kill the archer. That's a much bigger threat than the boat. Uh, you can heal up, uh, and we can choose more research. We're gonna go for iron bronze working. Try and see if there's any iron on the map nearby us. And you, you can just chill out here. It's all fine. Pyramids have been built in a faraway land. Okay. Uh, Statue of Zeus is also something we can build. There we go. We're gonna land here. Alright, we got a little uh, invasion uh, force here. And they should be all healed up next turn. Well, not all healed up, but healed up enough. And uh, next turn we can we can start moving towards uh, attacking... Um, assaulting that island. Finally. 
And we're going to get a, a new uh, social policy next turn. There we go. Can kill that boat, which has been annoying us. And it's giving us culture. And we can take to the sea and prepare to invade that island. Alright, take two on the assault on King Solomon's mine. Hopefully this time... Let's take a step a bit back. One, two, three. We can go over here, and you go in the water. All right. You okay, Jack Notch? If your legs went numb, you need to get up and walk around the house. Um, it's really not good to stay sitting for too long. You you can have a, like a uh, like a blood clot, and then you can die from that. So it's important. Restless leg syndrome, I think it's called. It's important every now and then for people who sit most of the day, like me, to get up and just walk around and, you know, go to the bathroom or grab a snack if you have to, but just walk around a little bit, you know? No need no need to, to hurt yourself just because I'm so entertaining to watch. I'm probably not that entertaining to watch. Anyway, culture. Um, units gain 10% strength. Military units spawns near all city that reach multiple of eight citizens. We're gonna go for dominance. Uh, killing military units generates science because we're going to kill a lot of units and uh, we want to go for Imperium for the Free Settler. <laughs> Alright. Very good. Our invasion uh, has started. Uh, we're going to build a barracks and after the barracks I think we're going to build a battering ram. And we might go straight up for uh, for Hong Kong. Sounds like a good plan to me. Okay, units needs orders. We can land our forces, we can start shooting this hand axe, because hand axe are really nasty. And then we'll need to deal with the barbarian archer. We're losing money. We're unhappy. And there's another boat! But it, the boat is not our priority, the hand axe is our priority. There we go. Hand axe dealt with. Um, we can move forward, but we can heal over here for now. Unit needs order. You've built a road. Let's keep building roads toward Hiroshima. The Romans are probably interesting in this mod. What I like about this mod is that every nation is interesting. They each have like such a powerful ability that changes your gameplay. And that's why I also like playing on random. Usually I never play on random on vanilla because I'm just like, oh, what if I get like a, a bad a bad thing or, or but with this, I'm I'm not worried because I there's always something interesting that's gonna happen. Uh, so we could keep this Hunnic warrior back and healing. He's gonna keep getting shot by this archer, and this this warrior can can go here through Solomon's mine and assault this encampment. And then we can keep the, the archers working on those damn boats. Alright, a nice shrine. Um, probably a monument. Grow faster, more culture. More culture is good. We have two cities now, so the culture cost is a lot higher. Keep healing. And uh, let's keep building that road towards Hiroshima. It's going to be a long road, and it's going to cost us a lot of money for that road. And we're spending a lot on unit maintenance as well. Um, there we go. And... Oh, that's a desert. Yeah, that's also new in this mod. Desert tiles now cost two movement points. So you can just rush through deserts. It's interesting. But we're going to move forwards. Crudely drawn map of the surrounding area. Alright, two more little city-states for us to conquer. And we can bring forwards our archers. We should take down this camp next turn. Which is going to be really good. Here Hector enters. Bronze working. With a spear 11 cubits long in his hand, the bronze point gleamed in front. Very good. Um, Alright, let's heal you up and kill this archer. And we get a free archer! And look at all we get. See, we really want to kill stuff as the Huns, especially Barbarians. Wow. 
Well, we lost two units and we gained one in exchange. Is it a fair deal? No, it's not. But we can recover from that. We could upgrade our guys to spearmen, but we don't have the cash for that. So we want to. We're gonna want to start preparing. When's our ooh five turns to a battering ram, and then we want to set our invasion of Hong Kong. All right, Pantheon has been founded. Very good. What do we want to research next? Uh, calendar would be good. Uh, we have some tobacco here that we would like to improve. Yes, our clearly superior Hunnic ways have convinced these these warriors to come fight for us. Okay, you guys are gonna heal up, and you can move over here. Why did that take two movement? I am not sure. Ah, oh, there was a river here. Okay. Fine. You can also heal. So we're gonna heal all our guys. They want to defeat barbarians that are invading their territory. Okay. Is that the guy you want me to defeat? Then we're gonna set up around Hong Kong. Oop. A little map glitch here. More of these stupid ships. I have nothing that can shoot at it. Okay. Keep healing. You make your way towards Hong Kong. We're gonna have a nasty surprise for Hong Kong. We'd like to kill all those ships as well. Um, road here or there doesn't make much of a difference. Uh, let's build a road there because... Hmm, or here because we're going to leave the forest here. Yeah, let's build a road through the forest. <laughs> they only killed two of our unit, Jack Notch, okay? The barons aren't that superior. Psh. It was a pretty nasty fight. Alright, we can kill one of these stupid galleys. Bam. And we can start taking to the sea to set up our guys near Hong Kong. There we go. It needs orders. Yep, kill, keep building those roads. Ooh, minus six gold per turn. That is really expensive. Pantheon founded. Okay. Hiroshima demands tobacco. We can't even get tobacco yet, but we're working on it. Ah, upgrades for our military units. Very good. That's a good position to attack them from. We definitely want an archer there. Uh, we're probably going to want an archer here and maybe one here as well. And... Uh, we can keep the warriors. We can have a warrior in the f in the jungle over here, and the other warrior could stay in the sea and and come in from the sea. I think that's going to be our plan to take Hong Kong. Oh, and there there's the other part of that plan. Uh, this this we're going to give drill to for the bonus versus cities because we're only going to use this against cities. Um. Attack through the jungle with it? Or through this open plane? I'm not sure. In any case, let's start sending it towards where we want it to be. Alright, other warrior. Let's get set up. There we go. All the archers in the world. And more warriors. There we go. They fear us. We could demand a tribute. Take 120 gold, and we will lose 30 influence. We're about to attack them anyway, right? So, let's take the free gold. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, you're angry at us, Hong Kong. We don't really care. We're going to take everything you own. Yeah. Because we're assholes like that. How many turns have the barracks on? Barracks already done. Uh, most notable, most stable nations. We're not very stable, but our happiness is at zero, so it's not that bad. Okay, battering ram is heading out. Warrior is gonna get in position. Archers over here. Archer over here. Warrior. Warriors are going to have to come from the water. 
Because there's not enough space. Can we... Ask for tribute again? Ah, no. Minus 500 because we just asked for a tribute very recently. Okay. What are we working on now? An Atlas Court? A Granary? Yeah, that's fine. I'm happy with that. Okay, Archer can stay there. Uh, we haven't met these guys yet, so they're not going to be angry if we take out Hong Kong. So we'll take out Hong Kong and then we'll meet them. That's forward thinking. The Great Lighthouse has been built. The AI start with such a huge advantage. So teach us to number our days so that a we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. I like that. I like that. Uh, you set up here, then you're going to walk in here. There's no point in staying in their territory until we declare war, so... We're just we're just gonna wait <laughs> right outside of their territory. We're going. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. <laughs> wow, we're gonna be playing as really big assholes. Bananas, bananas everywhere. Oh, that that's good news. Awesome, awesome bananas. What do we want to research next? I think construction would give us access to uh, quarries, and we do have some stone nearby. Or we could skip straight to the classical era. If we go for sailing, we could build a trireme and start exploring the sea. I think that's the best thing to do. Um. Alright, battering ram. Come on. Get there, little battering ram. Archer can stay here. And we're going to keep building those roads. Uh, because we are losing a lot of money. But we stole a bunch of money from Hong Kong. Oh, Statue of Zeus? I wanted to build that next. I don't think we're going to get any of the early wonders. Not with the AI like this. So, it's best if we make our peace with that. One, two, three. You could get there from here. So you can wait here. And you can wait here. Alright. Hong Kong! You're about to fall. And you're sending your little worker out. That's cute. There we go. So in one, two turns, we're going to declare war on Hong Kong. And we've built a granary. Herbalist would be really good. Look at all the forests we have around. Although we're going to cut down most of that forest. What else does it do? A flat plus two food. It's not that good, really. We could build a caravan between our two cities. That's also not that good. We need money pretty badly right now. So building the herbalist is not that good a deal. Um, maybe we build a work boat and then we buy a tile with some fishes and make money off of that. Or another worker. We're going to need more workers. Or another settler for Solomon's Mines. Let's build another settler. Imagine if a massive barbarian army suddenly appeared near Atlas Court and invaded. Why would you say such things? That that's such a mean thing. Oh crap! Right, we need to kill that. Do not kill my nice barbarian boats. Whew. All right. <laughs> okay. That boat. Oh, and that made them happy with us. Can we ask for tribute again? No. Oh well. Hi, Hong Kong. How are you doing? You seem really happy up there. Be a shame if something was to happen to you. We're gonna get. We're gonna wait one more turn. Actually, no. We're gonna go for it right now. Take that that worker. Yep. Hello, Hong Kong worker. Yes, it means war. Hey! It didn't... It didn't steal the worker! What the hell kind of a... Rotten deal is that? It's okay. We'll get the worker soon enough. Yeah, Hong Kong's gonna last... Another two turns, maybe? Maximum? Oi! Get out of here, barbarian galley! Hong Kong can't even shoot at us for some reason. Let's 
straight up. Two turn war. A uh, bunch of money and we're gonna create a puppet. It does make us unhappy though, but unhappiness is not as bad in this balanced patch as it is uh, standard. So we can deal with a bit of unhappiness. <laughs> Alright! That was fast. Is that a, a plains? What kind of... that's a hill. Here, here, or here, here. It's kind of the same. I think I want to go here, on the jade. Okay! Hong Kong! Conquered! We can heal our units and then move on to the other ones, like Vilnius and whoever is down here. That's a good way to expand, right? You don't need to build the cities if you can just steal them from other people. It's totally legit advice. Um, move in here. Everyone heal up. Oh, we can upgrade our units. We're gonna do it. We're assholes. We're gonna have a very strong military. So we're gonna heal up everyone here. And then it's on to the next! Ah, oh, Attila is already... Already living up to his name! Alright, build your road. Um, It's true that we could make friends with city-states to trade with them. And get the money we need that way. But... Do we really need money if we just keep, you know, raiding city-states? We can just steal their money. That also works. You have to think about that. And we got some copper for free there. <laughs> Pardon me. Alright, go back out there and build another farm. Is that next to a river? I think it's next to a river. There we go. Alright, heal up. And let's get ready to move again. Hi there, annoying. I really want to shoot that guy with my archers. And in fact, we are going to. Oh, there we go. We're going to try to kill that thing because it could give us some headaches. Oh, so close to killing it. Um, move to here. Alright, everyone else, just heal up. Heal up. Uh, we might make friends with one of the city-states. We'll, we'll see. But I just... Look, horses. We got it. We, we just gotta take them. But in any case, um, my time's up for this, this stream. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed um, Civilization V uh, with the community balance patch and with my insanely militaristic Attila conquer the world attitude. Um, who knows how far we'll get. The, the AIs are going to be hard to deal with. Um, but uh, yeah, I love Civ 5 and hopefully you like it too. Uh, in any case, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time. And uh, yeah, we're going to save the game. Uh, as you can see, this is the India with all the nukes. So this is going to be... Oh, come on. There we go. This is going to be called Attila Conquers the World. Because that's what we're going to do. Bye-bye, uh, Jack Notch. Thanks a lot for watching. All right.